Hello, this is Gene. I want to talk today about Dave Rubin. Uh, today he put out a video talking about identity politics. And basically, the su summation of his video is that we need to get away from that, that he believes in the individual. And uh, apparently he thinks that there's too many identity politics going on right now. So I wanted to talk about him and where, uh, how that kind of like relates to the alt-right, because clearly the alt-right is an identitarian movement. So I actually responded to Dave uh, on his video and I said, why are we going to stop talking? It seems like now people like him, people are classic liberals, centrists in a lot of ways, who only believes in the individual, uh, wants to stop this threat, I guess, of the white people actually raising up about their voices, uh, to look at us as a group of, 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 of group individuals to our, that are fighting for our, our race, let's say, or his her, our heritage. So he's a nice guy. You know, I, I don't want to put any type of nefarious thing on him. Um, I mean, I could say, yeah, he's a Jew, and this is really what the Jewish people that have, are in power or have the uh, wealth, the time to actually talk about stuff like this. This is kind of like the same thing, but he's doing it from a different uh, viewpoint. But it all comes back to the same thing. They want all of us to look and act like we're all the same. Uh, but don't, they don't want to have this discussion about the races and as a group uh, that there are differences and that we should either explore that or try to sell, solve that. Um, we just want to stop it now because I think, I don't think it's because he's a Jewish person that he thinks that uh, people on the alt right is gonna um, <laughs> gonna go in and take all the Jewish people and put them in the oven again. I, I don't think that's what he's thinking, but I th I think he understands that there's a there's a rising uh, of consciousness of people with European um, heritage, and he can see based on his his history as a Jewish person and his belief system that it, that might be a, not, might not be a bad thing or that might not be a good thing. Um, but my problem with him is why, even though he talks about Mac, Black Lives Matter and other identity groups, he never really s said that they should stop advocating for their race. He's only doing it now. And it, to me, it's kind of like something's up here. Um, the only people that will ever stop advocating for their race have been white people. Uh, why are wh now all of a sudden you want us to say no? We're not going to do this because we're going to listen to what Martin Luther King said that we're going to judge people on their character unless unless uh, not the color of their skin. Those are all great ideas. All of us on the all right probably thinks the same thing. Unfortunately, that's not how it works in the real in the real world. Uh, individually, uh, you, you can find somebody from a different race or different uh, culture that you can have a racial relationship with, that you can have friends with. But when we're talking about identity politics, and you're talking about groups of people, these um, discussions continue, need to continue to go on. So when somebody like David Rubin, who is a, you know, he's an atheist and he's also a skeptic, and he had his awakening, you know, he was a liberal, but now he's, he's been red-pilled to a point um, he's at that same top thing that I talk about all the time about, especially lefts that come across. They only go to some area. They don't go further enough down to see. It's like he would see himself in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Um, so they want to, us to pacify people on the right, uh, people that might support the alt-right, so that we don't get so involved with identity politics. Just stay up here at the alt-light. You know, just, just say that, that uh, people on the left are a little bit too much SJW-ish, and we need to stop doing that. And if we stop it on that side, it'll help everybody. Uh, he doesn't want white people to actually um, advocate for themselves. And I find that uh, disingenuous because I know he wouldn't say the same thing to black people or uh, Asian people or Latinos or Hispanics. They, he would never say you can't have these marches, that you can't do this. Um, and he still believes in the back of his mind that there's privilege in this country, that there's a lot of racism that goes on in, in this country. So it's just interesting to see him talking about it. 
Um, I'm sure people have actually responded to him on his video, uh, other than myself, that have actually said, well, we're still going to stand up for people in our group uh, because no one else will do it. Um, this idea that this kumbaya bullshit, that all of a sudden we're going to be happy together when it's never been proved without, when the history of man, that groups together, whether it's through culture or race, it's very hard for people to be together. Uh, and I've said many times on this channel that I really believe that the black man and the white man have to be together to stop this the third world coming into our country because we do owe something to black people uh, the, ori the original sin of this country is slavery now we changed it we stopped it and there were still a lot of uh, pro pro people that actually had this idea that somewhere that white people might be more important than black people um, but we've we progressed and I don't like like using that that term too much but we have in this country when it comes to race relations so I think what David is talking about here is that he thinks that all the divide that we have right now is based on identity movements. That might be true. Uh, but when he says we need to stop from doing it, he's not talking about black people to stop being advocation for their race. He's not talking about Latinos like I talked before. He's worried because the majority of the country is still white, uh, European heritage, that if we ever woke up fully that things would change and nothing would happen to him per se he can identify of himself as a white man he clearly said he's an he's an honestly i can't say the one that's the part of this the jewish uh people that are the most smart i can't say that name uh so he's not really white um it doesn't mean that he he's still part of the culture and he can he, he has assimilated in this country and all other stuff in the united states still whether you want to call it People on the alt-right will say that it was a white country. Uh, I think that's too myopic. I think that we have to, we're still multicultural. But I think what we need to recognize is that uh, people from European heritage and the people from Africa, uh, their uh, descendants should be looked at as Americans. And I've always said that on my, on my channel. But I'm not going to sit there and say I'm not going to advocate for my race or my group of people. And... Regardless, I mean, there could be mixed people that are also they're half white or half black or whatever. They're still part of my um, my heritage as well. Uh, we, you have to understand that you just can't have a list litmus test saying that well you're three percent African, so you're not going to be part of whatever this movement would be. Um, if you're this is it's that thing between civic, civic nationalism and the alt right, and a lot of people are in between what they need to do here. Uh, I know what I see in front of me, and I understand how very important uh, getting the message into the black community. They have their own, quote-unquote, um, black um, movements or everything that advocate based on the color of their skin. Now, if Dave would have came out today and said that all of this should be stopped, that we should all love each other, that would be the most liberal thing ever, and it doesn't, it doesn't really uh, jive with the the facts on the ground. No matter how much you think that we can do this, uh, maybe it's just a fault of being human that we can't get past the color of your skin or the other issues that are that are indicative on a group level, uh, how but how you compare whites to what to blacks and, and other races. And and all I want is the ability to discuss this, to understand that uh, as a group. Uh, we feel threatened, not just because they're minority and we're going to be a minority later on. It's that there's more than that. It's in the media and everything else. And we don't like the fact that when we talk about this, we're being called paranoid. And now guys like Dave and Ruman that I watch, that I've supported him, is now basically saying saying that we should stop say anything about this, that we, it, we're better than this, that we should not be, we shouldn't fall the prey of to identity politics. Uh, you can call whatever you want to call it. I call it by advocating for the group that I'm in, my culture, which is European heritage, and understanding that Europeans were white people, that this country was founded by white people. What that means, whether it's good or bad, we did do, do this, and the fact that we just allowed, um, through our ulterior uh, motives, that we allowed all this shit to happen. I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole and say that he's part of this Jewish conspiracy to basically take over the, the, over the country. All the goems will be ruled by Jewish people. 
people on the alt right, the really hard art alt right, will will we'll probably talk about that. Maybe somebody will respond to this and say things like that. I'm saying what's what's right in front of me and what we need to do in this country: limit the uh, uh, limit immigration from third world. Um, get together to gay, uh, today and understand how important it is to be American. Now that might say I'm civic nationalism again, and we should we should um, celebrate the family and. Um, and what that means by that is that women can have babies. They shouldn't be looking at media all the time saying it's better not to have babies or to be so empowered that you'll never have babies till you're 40. This shit needs to stop, and we, as still the majority of this country, can change that. Um, it sounds like another way to stop us from doing what we have to do to save what we created. And basically that's it. If you have any comments, let me know, and we could talk about it below. Tell me if I'm off base. I think I'm not. It just seems like where he's coming from is something I've heard a lot. He said it more nicely than somebody else that might be more uh, harsh when it comes to dealing with white people. I mean, go on Twitter night and, and talk about all the people that have those nice blue check marks, those median guys, and they sit there about white people. You shouldn't be doing this stuff. And then they get called out and they're, well, I'm not white. I'm Jewish. There are hundreds of examples of this I'm not saying he's one of those type of people. I think he's past that. But I, I, it seems the same. It's a different way of doing it. Um, people have always say about the alt-right is just a, the KKK that's been 2.0'd, that we have more people can talk more and all that type of stuff, but we're the same thing as the, AK, the KKK. I don't believe that. So I'm not saying that David Rubin is the same way with all the other people that are Jewish people that basically want to destroy this country and have the Jewish people run this country. Okay. Let me know, and uh, if I don't get to see you in the comments, and or I don't have another video before Thanksgiving, you guys have a good Thanksgiving. That's a good uh, European uh, thing. So you guys have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.